So the biggest mistakes that I see when people are new to breath work is that they think a deep breath and a big breath are the same thing. Breath work has gained a lot of popularity over the last few years and for good reason. Now there's a ton of different techniques and applications of breath work, but for me and my clients, we're usually using breath work and movement together to achieve two primary outcomes. And those are reduced muscle tension and anxiety or both. So if your goal is to reduce muscle tension or anxiety, you might be tempted to use movement and breath work together right away. But in my experience, before going on to using breath work and movement together, it's better to double down on the basics of breath work alone. And then later when you combine the two, usually the effect is much more powerful. So for that reason, in this video, we're gonna go through the basic breath work cues that you need if your goal is to reduce muscle tension and anxiety. And then at the end of the cues, we're gonna go through a brief guided practice that you can use today to implement these cues. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. So when we're going through these basic cues, we're gonna have two categories to worry about. The first is gonna be the position we're in, and then the second is gonna be how we're actually doing the breaths. So let's start by going over the position. So starting here at the rib cage, we wanna create a position where it's gonna be easy to expand in a 360 degree manner. So when we take a breath in, we should get not only expansion out to the side like this, but also front and back. So if we're in a real arched or extended kind of position where the chest is really tall and our back is arched, that's gonna make it difficult to get that uniform expansion. And on the flip side, if we're in a really slumped position like this, it's probably also gonna be difficult. So we wanna find that Goldilocks happy medium kind of position where we're relatively upright here, but we still have a little bit of a natural curve in through this thoracic spine. And we have a sternum that's relatively upright as well. Now working our way up into the head and neck, we also wanna think about the natural curve that we're supposed to have in the neck. So if you have a position of the head that's more like this chin tuck, you're actually gonna close off that airway. Now, if your head's really forward, that airway is also gonna be closed off a little bit as well. So what you wanna think about is having your head and neck up so the front of the neck is in a relatively open position. This is gonna give you a little bit of the natural curve of the neck, and it's gonna allow you to get air in and out in a relatively easy, low effort kind of a way. And the last cue that we're gonna worry about here is the position of the tongue. Now, when we're breathing in and out of the nose, it's gonna be easiest to get that air in and out if we have the entire tongue up on the roof of the mouth. So imagine this is the roof of my mouth. Most people will think tongue on the roof of the mouth means tip of the tongue behind the front teeth. But what we're really looking for is going to be the entire tongue coming up into the roof of the mouth. So we have the middle of the tongue in the hard palate, and then the back of the tongue starting to actually contact that soft palate. So the way that you can actually do this is by swallowing first, and as you swallow, your tongue should naturally come up into the roof of the mouth. Try to hold it there as you do your breath work in and out of the nose. Now, for some of you, this might be a little bit uncomfortable or feel restricted. So play with that position of the head and the neck and see if you can find a nice open position of the neck that allows you to bring that tongue up without too much effort, but without also feeling suffocated. So now that you understand the positional cues, let's talk about how to actually do the breathing. So the biggest mistakes that I see when people are new to breath work is that they think a deep breath and a big breath are the same thing. Now that's not true, but what it usually causes people to do is breathe too loud, too big, and with too much effort. So people are trying to expand the chest wall as much as possible on inhale and to compress the chest wall as much as possible on exhale. This often produces a very loud breath where you can hear the inhales and exhales, which just creates more resistance into that nasal passage and brings us into that more sympathetic nervous system fight or flight kind of a mode. Now, this is not what we're trying to do when we're trying to reduce muscle tension or anxiety. So instead, we wanna think about nice, easy, low effort, small excursion, silent breaths in and out of the nose. Okay, so now that you know the basic cues, let's go through a guided practice. We're gonna start by bringing awareness to the position starting here at the pelvis. So you're gonna take your seat, you're gonna arch your low back and rock your pelvis forward, then you're gonna round your back and let your pelvis dump backwards a little bit. You're gonna alternate between those two of arching forward and dumping back until you find this happy middle ground where you feel good contact with your sit bones on the support surface. Now we're gonna go up into the rib cage and bring a little bit of awareness to the position here. And you're gonna, again, alternate between a little bit more arched and a little bit more slumped. A little bit more arched and a little bit more slumped. 
And again, you're gonna look for that position somewhere in the middle where you still have an upright sternum, but also a natural curve here in the mid back. Then we're gonna go up to the neck and head and we're gonna do the same thing, coming down into a little bit of a chin tucked position and then lifting the head and then finding that middle ground where the front of the neck feels open, but there's no tension in maintaining that position. Now, last but not least, we're gonna bring our awareness to the tongue. We're gonna to do a little bit of a swallowing motion and we're gonna feel that tongue come right up into the roof of the mouth. So the entire tongue is on the entire roof of the mouth. This is gonna be the position we maintain throughout the guided practice. So try to just maintain this comfortably with minimal tension. Now we're gonna bring our awareness to actually how we're doing the breaths. We're gonna use an easy duration of three seconds in and three seconds out. So let's go ahead and we'll start in three, two, one, easy breath into the nose and then out. Easy in, easy out. I'm gonna have you just follow that timer. I'm gonna talk here a little bit. And as you go out, you're just letting that air go out. As you're coming in, you're trying to make that as quiet as possible. And as you're doing this, I want you to bring the awareness to that position. And I want you to notice if there's any tension in your body while you're doing this. If there is, try to find that natural middle point and just settle into that position. Letting go of any tension on the breath out and then on the breath in, trying not to invite any tension in. You're gonna keep repeating that, the easy in and out through the nose. And then you're gonna bring your attention to how loud you're breathing. I want you to notice if there's any resistance being created in your nose and any sound being created by air moving past your nose. If there is, try to back off your effort a little bit and reinforce the positional cues with your tongue. Now on each inhale and exhale, I want you to try to decrease the amount of effort that you're using, not forcing on the way in or the way out. And as you continue to be aware of effort of air passing in and air passing out, I want you to see if there's any tendency to fill against tension in your rib cage or to force air out and create tension at the end of your exhale. And if there is, try to breathe in a little bit more slowly so you're not bringing as much air in or out as quickly. So now you're gonna keep breathing. You're gonna think about your pelvis and your sit bones, your rib cage stacked right on top of your pelvis, an open neck, tongue on the roof of the mouth, nice, quiet, easy breath in through the nose, nice and silent, no sound, not forcing a lot of air in, not forcing a lot of air out, small excursions of breaths, and just letting that tension go on the exhale and not inviting any more tension in on your next inhale. And you're gonna continue this back and forth, nice and easy, feeling your body settle into that nice relaxed parasympathetic nervous system state. And you can continue for as long as you like here, but we will be ending this guided practice in a second, probably relatively abruptly. Okay, so that does it for the guided practice. If you're brand new to breathwork, go down and get my Breathwork Breakthrough 7-Day Challenge. It's designed to help beginners have their first aha moment with breathwork. And ultimately, if you get the basics of breathwork down by doing this challenge, when you go to combine breathwork with movement, you get a much, much more powerful effect. Now, if you're a little bit more advanced and you think that you don't need the basics, but you want to take it to the next level, go ahead to chaplainperformance.com and get on my mailing list. I'll be releasing an advanced breathwork course in quarter two of 2023. Make sure you get on that list because if you're one of the earliest on that list, you get a little bit of a discount. Okay, guys, that does it for this video. If you liked it, give it a like, comment questions down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. All this helps the algorithm to help me help more people. And until next time, thanks a lot for watching. Peace.